While miniature painting is definitely kind of a more solitary hobby in general, Wargaming, on the other hand, what you're painting your minis to work towards most of the time is playing a game, and for that, you need other people. Unfortunately, it can be kind of difficult to either find those people or to convert friends that you already have into that hobby. What's going on, guys? It's Richard here from Crash Course Hobbies, and today I'm going to talk to you about some ways to convert your friends to the dark side. Now, the first thing you're probably gonna to wanna to do is just identify which one of your friends you think this would be a good fit for. This should be a pretty self-explanatory step, but you know, usually the friends that are already kind of into gaming or maybe have an interest in sci-fi or fantasy or like tabletop games, stuff like that. I mean, again, this should be a pretty self-explanatory step, but I wanted to at least include it. Now, once you've identified those friends, what I would do is kind of ease them into the lore of it and the visual stuff and, and that sort of thing to kind of get a feel for what factions they might like or what might interest them the most. So, you know, you could send them some videos on YouTube, you could send them to GW's website, uh, you could kind of just show them some of the stuff that you have, maybe a book or something like that, and kind of let them dip their toes in the lore and the world of Warhammer a little bit to kind of help them figure out what they might be interested in. Now from here, I think there's kind of two different ways you could go about it. And I think depending on the personality or the friend that you have or just the way you think is best, you might go one of two ways. The first would be to just pick out a small box of miniatures that you think they'll like or that they've already chosen based on what factions they think are cool and just gift it to them. Uh, maybe make a night of hobbying together, show them how to put them together, kind of give them a basics, uh, kind of crash course on how to paint, uh, that sort of thing, so that they're more invested in the miniatures. Because I find that people tend to care more about the hobby in general. They tend to own it a little bit more if what they have are their own figures and their own minis to play with. I think you'll definitely have a better chance going that route, in my opinion. Next, what you could do, or maybe do this step before the other one, is start with kind of lighter games or more basic tabletop miniatures type games. Something like Zombicide, I think, is a really good kind of gateway drug into Warhammer because you get to be moving miniatures around. The rule set's very simple and straightforward. And you also get to play cooperatively, which is kind of a nice thing at first because you're either all winning or you're all losing. From there, you could look at something like One Page Rules, which is very easy to learn the rules in a simple go, and especially for people that might not be used to really kind of crunchy rule sets that Warhammer kind of has. This is a way for them to move their minis around on the table, play a game with them, and still kind of get a feel for what they're getting into. Especially if you like the narrative aspect of Wargaming, like I do personally, you get to set up some nice terrain, you know, you can really get things all, you know, prettied up and show them sort of what it would look like if you were playing a full-fledged game, but without them having to study a codex and learn a ton of rules and all this kind of stuff. So one-page rules can be a really great way to get into it as well. I've gotta stop things here for a second because there's one other aspect of this that I think is really important to discuss, and that's you really need to prioritize your friend's fun over your own in your first game. Now, that doesn't mean let them win, but what I'm trying to say here is Make sure that they're having a good time. If you want to convert them into joining you in the wargaming hobby and you give them a really dismal intro game, they're probably not going to want to play again. So, you know, I'm not saying let them win, but maybe just gauge the situation. Make sure that they're having fun with it, whether you need to be more animated or whether you need to lean into a narrative side or if they're more of a competitive person, lean into the competitive side. Use your judgment, but if all else fails, and you can't really tell one way or the other how to play it, let them win. They'll have more fun. The fourth thing, maybe they don't want to dive into it all the way, or maybe they're on the fence, or financially for them it doesn't make sense to buy a 2,000 point army. If you have multiple armies, just maybe let them play casually and just, you know, loan out an army for them whenever they come over. And, you know, maybe they don't get super into the hobby, but it's still nice to have people that you can just play with and you know, that's totally cool too. Maybe just have a buddy that whenever they come over, they always like to play your Space Marines and you play your Tyranids and that's just what you guys do. A little bit of beer hammer never hurt anybody. So that's totally acceptable way to go about it. But lastly, just realize that this hobby definitely isn't for everybody. And no matter how much you may want your best friend to take an interest in it and love the hobby as much as you do, it just might not be for them. So while it's definitely cool to try to pull them in and get them excited about what you're excited about, 
the reality of it is, you know, it just may not be for them. And if that's the case, kind of know when to call it quits on that front. And, you know, you can still definitely show them your miniatures you've been finishing and that kind of stuff. You know, I'm sure they'll be stoked to check it out. But, you know, the, the harsh reality of it is Warhammer is definitely not for everybody. Miniature painting is not for everybody. So be aware of that as well. And keep that in mind when you're trying to convert your friends into your joining your hobby. Anyways, guys, that's it for my take on how to pull your friends into the hobby. If you've got other suggestions, I'd love to see them down below. As always, support your local game stores. And if you're new here on the channel, hit all those buttons. You know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.